So hello guys and welcome to my channel sir. Today in this video we will discuss some important numericals on power electronics that we have left in our previous lectures. So here they starting with the first numerical here we have a DC to DC converter is given here. A DC to DC converter is feeding an RL load as shown in the figure below with VS as 220 volt L as 7.5 milli henry and the frequency is given as 1 kilohertz duty cycle K is given as 0.5 and the value of E is 0 and calculate the minimum instantaneous current the RMS value of load current and the RMS chopper current so this is our circuit diagram sir. and the value of L and R is given and here the value of E is given as here 0 volt so this is the case for RL now here we can see the value of VS is given as 220 volt value of R is 5 ohm and value of L is 7.5 milli henry and frequency is given as 1 kilohertz. So duty cycle is also given as 0 0.5 and we know time period is calculated as T is equal to 1 upon F and the value of F is 1 kilohertz so 1 upon 1000 means kilohertz so 1 upon 1000. Now in a step down with RA load we know the value of I2 is calculated as I2 is equal to I1 e to the power minus kT R upon L plus Vs minus E upon R and 1 minus e to the power kT R upon L kT R upon L and I, I2 will be if you substitute the value of k since we know duty cycle k is given 0 0.5 similar to t will be 1 upon f and the value of r is also given and the value of l is also given so if you put the value of these all parameters then we will get here 0 0.71651 i1 plus similarly here we have vs minus e upon r the value of vs is also given 220 and the value of e is 0 similarly r is also given and here the value of k means duty cycle is also given t equals to 1 upon f also given and r is also given similar to l is also given here so once you substitute all the value you will get here 12.473 and suppose this is equation 1 now to calculate i1 we have i1 and i3 will be same so i1 equals to i3 will be i2 e to the power minus 1 minus k tr upon l minus e upon r 1 minus e to the power minus 1 minus k tr upon l so Similarly, if we solve the value of K, T, R and L, we will get here 0 0.7165 I2. And since E upon R, the value of E is 0, so it will be, the whole term becomes 0 here, plus 0. So it will be I1 equals to 0 0.7165 I2 equation 2. So once, once we solve equation 1 and 2, we will get the value of I1. So I1 will be 18.37 ampere. Now minimum instantaneous load current I1 is here. Just now we have to have the value of I1. So minimum instantaneous load current I1 will be 18.37 ampere and peak instantaneous load current I2 and, the, and I2 can also be calculated as 20.63 ampere. Since I1 we have obtained, since this is the value for I1, I1 equal to 0 0.7165 I2 just now and just now we have calculated the value of I1. So if you substitute the value of I1 here in these equations will get the value of I2 and that is I2 means the peak instantaneous load current. Similarly, RMS chopper current is calculated as IRM equal to 1 upon T uh, and integration 0 to KT I1 square DT to the power 0 0.5. So root so if you simplify this will get here root root under K into I1 square plus I2 minus I1 upon 3 plus I1 I2 minus I1 to the power 1 upon 2. So we'll get here if you substitute all the value we'll get 15.13 ampere similarly average load current i will be i1 plus i2 upon 2 since i1 i2 just now we have calculated so on once we substitute we'll get here 22 amperes similarly average source current is is given as k into i a and just here we have calculated i a here average load current so we'll get here average source current as 11 amperes similarly effective Input reasons Ri is given as Bs upon Rs and Bs is given as 220 and Is here we have 11 ampere so we will get here 20 ohm here now RMS load current means I naught so in order to calculate I naught we have the formula as 1 upon kT integration 0 to kT I1 square dt to the power 1 upon 2 and on further simplification if you simplify this we will get I1 square plus I2 minus I1 square upon 3 plus I1 I2 minus I1 to the power 1 upon 2 since this is a lengthy process so that's why I have just uh, here kept the simplified value here 
so we'll get here 22.10 ampere cpu source is value of 5192 and maximum peak to load ripple current means dli so in order to calculate the maximum peak to load ripple current we have to subtract the value of i2 minus i1 that means i2 minus i1 gives 7.26 ampere and this is the maximum peak to load ripple current now similarly here we have the next one and this is also repeatedly asked questions a single phase full converter feeds a highly resistive rl load the ac current voltage to the converter is 230 volt given and 50 hertz and the load current is constant and ripple free at 4 ampere and if the firing delay angle for the sci is 30 degree given here find the average dc output voltage across load the rms value of output voltage and the input power factor of the systems so first you have to calculate the average dc voltage to take calculate the average dc voltage across the load means vdc will be v not right now so it will be 2 vm upon pi and cos alpha so 2 into and in order to calculate the vm we have uh, given here we have the ac current voltage to the converter is 230 volt and in order to calculate the maximum voltage means vm so it, we have to multiply by root 2 so root 2 into 230 upon pi and cos alpha and again the here scr firing angle is given as 30 degree so cos 30 so you'll get here 179.33 volt and the output current will be 4 ampere now rms value of output voltage vor means vm upon root 2 and and vor will be directly can add vs and directly source voltage is 230 volt given similarly power factor can calculate so power factor can be calculated as cdf into df or simply you can use this formula 2 root 2 upon pi into cos alpha and 2 root 2 into cos alpha is straight uh, cost 30 degree upon pi since firing angle is given as 30 degree here so we'll get 0 0.779 power factor or we can simply use this taking means cdf into df so in order to calculate cdf we have is1 upon ds or is1 can you further written as 2 root 2 upon i into i naught upon pi and is as i naught Similarly, DF is calculated as cos theta once means cos minus alpha means cos alpha it will be. So the ratio means the multiplication of CDF into DF gives the power factors. Now here we have again the important numericals. A single phase full converter feeds a resistive load of RL as 115 ohm given. And the input voltage to the full converter is from an AC mains of 110 volt, 60 hertz and a large inductor is connected in series with the resistive load so as to render ripple free load current and if the firing delay angle for the SCR is given as 60 degree find the average DC output voltage across the load RMS value of output voltage the DC power delivered to the load and the total power delivered to the load so here starting with the solution and furthermore you have to calculate the efficiency of the rectifiers or simply in the questions it can be said as to cal simply calculate the input and output performance parameter of these converters so here we have to calculate vdc we have vdc called v naught means 2 vm upon pi cos alpha so 2 into and vm will be root 2 into 110 upon pi into cos 60 so it will be 49.51 volt and RMS value of output voltage VOR will be directly the source voltage means 110 volt and PDC will be means V naught square upon R or here you can see PDC is equal to V naught into I or we can write here V naught is given as here 49.51 into V naught upon R and again V naught is given as here 49.5 or simply you can use the value to calculate the PDC simply use this formula means V naught square upon R and here V naught is given 49.51 so 49.51 square upon R the value of R is 15 ohm given so we will get here 163.4 and here we have in the question it is said as the ripple free means load current is ripple free so so for the case of ripple free the value of ior will be the output current means i naught and output ac power ps will be vor into ior and vor is 
hundred ten and IOR is three point three. And here we can calculate the IOR from here I note means I note equal B note upon R. So B note is given as forty nine point five one. The value of R is fifteen so three point three. So we get a three sixty three watt. And now rectification efficiency for rectification efficiency we can add PDC upon PSC. And here you can see PDC is one sixty three point four. And PSC means output DC power is given as three sixty three. So the ratio of PDC and PSC gives the rectification efficiency. And here the rectification efficiency is forty five point zero point one percent. And here, the further more we can calculate the form factor as B O R upon B naught. Similarly, C D F means current distortion factors. So two root two upon pi. Similarly, B R F means voltage ripple factor means form factor square minus one. Similarly, displacement factor D F can be calculated as cos theta one or cos minus alpha. Or simply, we can say cos alpha. Or we can calculate a total harmonic distortion harmonic factor as one upon C D F square minus one to the power zero point five. And also the power factor as C D F into D F. And here, again here we have the one important numerical. A single phase full wave AC voltage controller has a resistive load of 10 ohm, and the input voltage is given as V S as 120 volt, 50 hours. And the delay angle of thyristor T1 and T2 are equal, means alpha 1 and alpha 2 is pi upon 2. And here to determine the RMS output voltage, the input power factor, the average current of thyristors, and in the last we have to determine the RMS current of thyristors. And here you can see alpha one and alpha two is given as pi upon two. So here you can see alpha as pi upon two is given. And here the, in order to calculate for single phase full wave AC voltage regulator AC voltage controller, the VOR is calculated as VM upon root two one upon pi and pi minus alpha plus one upon root two sine two alpha to the power one upon two here. And in order to calculate the VM, we have to multiply with root two. So root two into one upon twenty upon root two since VM source voltage is given as one twenty volt. And one upon pi, pi minus alpha, and alpha is given as pi upon two, and one upon two sine two alpha. So two into alpha, alpha is given as again when pi upon two. So we get here sine one eighty degree here to the power zero point five here. So if you solve, we will get here eighty four point eight five volt. Similarly, input power factor is calculated as B O R upon B S. So B O R just we have obtained this, and the source voltage B S is given as one twenty. So we will get input power factor as zero point seven zero seven. And ITA is given as here means here the average current of thyristor is said. So Vm upon 2 pi R 1 plus cos alpha, and if you substitute all the values, you will get here 2.7 amperes. Similarly, ITR here in the fourth one. The RMS current of thyristors. In the third, we have to calculate just the average current of thyristors, and in the last, we have to calculate the RMS current of thyristors. And here we have the formula for RMS current of thyristors given as V M upon 2 R into root under pi and pi minus alpha plus 1 upon 2 sine 2 alpha into power to the power 1 upon 2. So V M is equal to 2 into V S and pi minus alpha alpha is given as pi upon 2. So once we substitute all the value, we will get here 8.48 ampere. So this was all for today. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please share this channel with your friends too. Thank you.